Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How do I pay capital gains tax on property? When you sell a property, you may owe capital gains tax on any profit made. The amount of tax depends on the difference between the selling price and your adjusted basis. The adjusted basis is usually the purchase price plus any improvements made to the property. To determine your capital gains, subtract the adjusted basis from the selling price. If the result is positive, you have a capital gain. If it is negative, you have a capital loss. And capital gains tax rates can vary based on how long you held the property. If you owned the property for more than one year, it is considered a long-term capital gain. Long-term capital gains are generally taxed at a lower rate than short-term gains. If you own the property for one year or less, the gain is considered short-term. Short-term capital gains are taxed at your ordinary income tax rate. To report the capital gain or loss, you must complete IRS Form 8949. This form details the sale and calculates the gain or loss. And you will also need to include Schedule D, Form 1040, when filing your tax return. Schedule D summarizes the total capital gains and losses from all transactions. Then NIIT is crucial to maintain accurate records of the property's purchase price, improvements, and selling expenses. These records help ensure the correct calculation of your capital gains tax. Denon Consulting, a tax professional, can provide personalized advice and ensure compliance with tax laws. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.